Jim Gray here with the Down the Road podcast, an episode called When and Why I Prefer Digital Over Film. Now, you know, I'm a dedicated film photographer. I have collected cameras since I was eight years old, way back in 1976. And I've been shooting film cameras for the serious since about 2006. And that's kind of my go-to photography medium. Um, I'm very happy when I just want to go shooting or when I'm doing something creative or artistic to load one of my film cameras and um, have a go at it. But there are times when I feel it's right to shoot digital, right for me anyway. Your mileage will vary. I remember early on in my road trip hobby where I go explore the old roads, I had a little point and shoot camera that I was using a film camera to document what I found. And I could blow through three or four or five rolls of film, no problem on a road trip. I could blow through more, but I had to hold myself back because in those days I didn't make a whole lot of money. And um, it seems hilarious today, a roll of Fuji Color 200 and uh, processing and scanning at the local drugstore, which still did it in, in the drugstore at that time, was a whole whopping $10 total. But a reasonably good digital point and shoot camera, I could have one of those for 150 bucks. So for 15 rolls of film, I could have a digital camera. And so I bought one. It was my Kodak Easy Share Z730, which I still have. And I would take it out and I would shoot 300 photographs on a road trip. And I, it was no problem because uh, the, the frames were essentially free once I had paid for the camera and the SD card and all that sort of stuff. And the spare battery, because the batteries didn't last very long on that thing. Um, and so for documentary work, a digital camera is an indispensable tool because you can just blast through so many photographs. It doesn't mean that I don't also bring a film camera. Uh, I do that frequently because there might be something I want to capture on film for the aesthetic quality of it, or because I'm doing some creative work while I'm also doing documentary work. Another reason I'll choose a digital camera is when I'm on vacation. It's for much the same reason. Then I am not constrained to some number of rolls of film that I've brought along. I can just keep shooting to the limits of my SD card. Uh, a lot of people I know will just leave photographs on their SD card. I don't do that. I empty it uh, every time I get home. And so I've always got a completely blank SD card in the camera, and I can put hundreds or thousands of photographs on there. Another reason that I use digital, my first reach for digital, is when I'm photographing family events. Now, this one is a little less certain. There are times when I'll put uh, film in a camera and I'll shoot the event with film. But in this case, it's really about the qualities of the digital camera. A digital camera handles low light so well compared to film. Uh, there are films out there that I can buy that let me shoot pretty comfortably inside my home, for example, or inside an event space. Uh, Kodak T Max 3200 is a good example. There are some 800 ISO 800 color films that uh, can be pushed to, to 16 or maybe even 3200 without a whole lot of fidelity loss. Uh, and that's great. But again, my digital cameras, my modern ones anyway, my Kodak Easy Share, not so much, but my uh, Canon S95 and especially my Nikon DF, they both uh, handle interior light very, very well. My Nikon DF could go to ISO 16,000 before you start seeing noticeable noise in the images. And it just gives me a great deal of flexibility. I can attach a zoom lens, which is generally going to be slower than a prime and still get perfectly excellent photographs from it. So those are some good reasons that I lean into digital cameras over film. If you are a staunch film person and you just can't imagine shooting a digital camera, more power to you. If you have reasons that you shoot digital that I don't know about, I'd sure love to hear about it in the comments. If you would like to go to my blog, blog.jimgray.net, search for episode eight and leave a comment there. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Jim Gray. We'll do this again next week.